So in this demo, I want to go through how you would create uh, different size layouts, uh, which are also what uh, you'll call your sheets. So what you want to look for are down here are these tabs, and you'll have the model tab, which is where you're at uh, when you're in model space and drawing your, your building. There's also this layout one tab, and this is a, a sheet that's created in automatically in AutoCAD. So anytime you start a new drawing, you're going to have a layout one. You can work with this one, or you can go to this plus um, tab here, and you can see it's to create a new layout. So I'm going to click on that, and you can see it's created a layout two. Now, what I want to do is I want to um, set certain parameters, like the sheet size and some printer information. So I'm going to click on Layout 2, I'm going to right click, and you can see here I can rename it, I can move or copy it, um, but what I want to do is open Page Setup Manager. And I'm going to select Layout 2 and hit Modify. And you can see it's bringing up the, the dialog box uh, that would come up when you're printing. So what you want to do is you want to set uh, the various uh, sizes, the printer, the pen table, etc. So the first thing we'll do is we'll select our printer. And you can either use the, let's see, DWD, DWG to PDF printer. That works pretty well from AutoCAD. Or you can use your Adobe PDF. I'm going to select the, the native one to AutoCAD, which is the DWG to PDF. Now what we want to do is select our paper size. So we can click on this arrow here, and you can see it's going to give me a whole lot of options. So if we want to do, let's say, an 11 by 17, we can select that. We can do, um, look up here and find 18 by 24, whatever sheet size we need for the various project that we're doing. So I'm going to leave this set at 18 by 24. We want to make sure that the plot area is set to layout. So that means it's going to, to plot the entire sheet as it's shown in AutoCAD. Plot scale should be set at 1 to 1 because we're, we're going to be plotting at uh, 1 inch equals 1 inch when we're in paper space. And for the plot style table, you want to s switch this to monochrome. Now the other thing you want to make sure is that you've got plot object line weights checked and if you are using the transparency controls, you want to also make sure that plot transparency is selected as well. Once you've got everything set, then just click OK and close. And now you can see that the sheet has resized um, compared to what it was before, because before it was just kind of as big as this viewport here. Now I also want to point out this dashed line that you see running around the, the sheet shows you the printable area. So that's important because you don't want to get any part of your title block or your drawing outside of that printable area. But you do want to make sure you get your title block to fill as much of that as possible so you have as much room as possible. Now I want to show you how you can change a um, change a, a sheet size, which is, is very similar to what we're, we just did. So we're going to go back to Layout 1 and click on Page Setup Manager, select, select Modify, and again, we can just go through that same, same steps. Um, selecting our printer, and then let's say we want to make this one, let's see, let's find 24 by 36. So we're going to leave it on Layout, Scale is 1 to 1, change our pen table, click on Plot Transparency, and click OK, and then Close. And again, you can see that it's um, drastically changed the size of the sheet. Now, the other thing you can do, if you are working with a drawing that already has um, sh some sh sheets set up and have title blocks and everything, you can copy these. So let's go to the 24 by 36 inch sheet. Let me zoom out here a little bit. And if I wanted to just make an exact copy of this sheet with the title block, all I need to do is right click on that tab select Move or Copy, select the one that I want to copy, click on Create a Copy, and then you can, you can adjust it, you move it to the end, click OK, and then you can see it's created an exact copy of that sheet. So that's a really easy way to create a new sheet if you've already got sheets set in the drawing. So that's kind of an overview of creating layouts and working with the different sizes and setting up the, um, the printing parameters.